Welcome back to the AG Chelsea TV channel. In this video, we'll find out the latest and most reliable news about Chelsea FC. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss daily update from my channel. Real Madrid interest in Chelsea right back, Los Blancos began the season with Dani Carvajal and Lucas Vazquez as their options in the right back position, both players now entering the status of a veteran. However, Carlo Ancelotti was recently dealt a blow as Carvajal, the standout first choice of the two, suffered a knee injury that will keep him sidelined for the rest of the season. The Italian now faces the task of juggling players in that position, it highly unlikely that Vasquez will be used on a regular basis in that role without a rest. In the short term, Eda Militao can be used as an alternative, but Real are not exactly stacked with options in the middle of their defence. According to The Independent, President Florentino Perez is open to making a formal bid for Josh Achimporn during the January transfer window. Achimporn has only made two senior appearances for Chelsea, a late cameo against Tottenham Hotspur in the Premier League in May and a 27-minute outing versus Barrow in the EFL Cup last month. Nevertheless, the teenager is highly regarded behind the scenes at Stamford Bridge and there are plans for more outings before the end of the year. Chelsea have a minimum of six matches in the EFL Cup and Conference League for the England under-20 international to feature, albeit with some games realistically targeted for Rhys James to step up his return from a hamstring injury. Achimporn currently only holds a contract until 2026 at a time when James and Malo Gusto, neither of them above the age of 24, are ahead of him in the pecking order. At Real Madrid, there is a potential pathway for him to earn more minutes than he would at Chelsea at least in the long term given that he could be used as competition for Carvajal upon his return from injury next season. Chelsea could be in title race, Emil Heskey believes Chelsea could be shock Premier League title contenders and reckons Manchester United will struggle for the top four. The former Leicester and Liverpool striker also reckons the Merseysiders could tussle it out at the top with Manchester City and Arsenal after their near-perfect start. Liverpool are currently top of the league after six wins from their first seven games under new boss on slot. While Chelsea are four points behind them in fourth after a promising star with new manager Enzo Maresca, I'm expecting a three-way title race this season between Manchester City, Arsenal and Liverpool, Heskey told 10 Bet. 100%. I'm expecting Liverpool to be in the race, and I think that's good for the Premier League, because the more competitive it is at the top, the more exciting it is for the fans. I hope we have a title race that runs until the last game of the season and leaves us on the edge of our seats. From what we've seen so far, Liverpool fans can be optimistic that they can run City all the way this season. I think Chelsea are the one team that can be a disruptive influence this season. I'm tempted to say that Chelsea could even challenge for the Premier League title and make it a four-way race. Eric Ten Hag's United have endured a terrible start to the season with just two wins and two draws from their opening seven games, with Aston Villa looking strong again under Unai Emery. Heskey believes United may have bother qualifying for next season's Champions League, if you're talking about top for contenders, you've got to say Chelsea and Villa, he said, I would have said Manchester United, but they're having a bit of a torrid time at the moment, and I don't think they've got what it takes to be consistently good enough to challenge for a place in the top four. Nike are not happy with Chelsea. Nike's pivot to producing a more abstract style of kit for Chelsea in recent seasons has been met with a mixed reception from supporters. Some fans even called Chelsea's 2024-25's Blue Flame home kit the worst in history, but supporters are going to have to get used to seeing the American brand's iconic swoosh on Chelsea gear for the foreseeable future. The club signed a 15-year deal with Nike back in 2016, tying the two parties together until 2032 at least in a deal worth £900 million in total or £60 million per year. While the fans might have their reservations about Nike, there has been no sign that the commercial relationship between clubs and supplier has been anything other than stable. Until now, the issue centers around Chelsea's failure to appoint a front of shirt in time for the start of the season for the second campaign running, Nike believe that the situation may have negatively impacted sales, because some supporters are holding out to buy the kit until a sponsor has been named, according to CityM's Matt Hughes. The report also suggests that Chelsea were demanding £60 million for their front of shirt rights for the season. But that figure has now fallen by £30 million due to a would-be sponsor missing two months of the campaign. 
losing £30 million in commercial income, and perhaps more by the time that a front of shirt has been found, is frankly unacceptable for a club in Chelsea's position. Even with the intracompany sales of the women's team and two on-site hotels at Stamford Bridge taken into account, the margins are ultra-tight in terms of PSR, if Chelsea exceed the Premier League's £105 million three-year allowable loss threshold in 2024-25, it will yield a sporting sanction, likely in the form of a points deduction. Murillo happy at Forest after Chelsea linked, right now, Enzo Maresca is probably happy with his centre-back options. Levi Colwell and Wesley Fofana are his first-choice centre-halves, while Dossin Adarabio, Axel de Saisai and Benorah Bejishail are the ones providing cover for them. Add Renato Vega, who can also play in central defence, to the mix, and that is another option that the Chelsea manager has. Vega is likely to play at left-back against Liverpool this Sunday, though, with Mark Cucurella suspended for the game. Despite having all of those centre-half options, it was reported in July that Chelsea contacted Nottingham Forest about signing Murillo, according to The Guardian. Forrest valued Murillo at £70 million, making it no surprise that he remained at the city ground. That is one problem for Chelsea. If they still want to sign him, there could also be another, with journalist Graham Bailey telling Nottingham Forest News that the 22-year-old is happy with where he is. He helped Forrest to earn a point against Chelsea just before the international break, with the two sides drawing 1-1 at Stamford Bridge. Forest have made a good start to the season under Nuno Espirito Santo. Not only have they managed to hold Chelsea to a draw, but they have also been able to beat league leaders Liverpool. Those four points have helped Forrest get into 10th. You can understand, then, why Murillo is content at the moment. He is also thriving at the city ground. According to Who Scored, the Brazilian is currently making the most clearances per game in Nuno's squad. With all of the other centre-back options at Chelsea, there is no guarantee that he would get the chance to succeed there. And that's the end of today's video. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss daily update from my channel.